You see here? Mm -hmm. And this is two pounds of clay, so this okay. is like, going to be like a little cereal bowl. Okay. Okay. Hopefully. If not, he's going to have to fill them all over again because it's still really cold. So is that heavy, heavy clay that has been refined and... This, what you want is alluvial clay, which is a water deposited clay. Okay. So the clay that you want to, all clay is good, but this type of clay for throwing is a water deposited because the water actually gets rid of a lot of the impurities of it. Um, brick clay, which we have another pug mill over there mm -hmm. that's used for brick making is more of the red clay that you see. You know that when you go by a riverbank and you see then you slip in the clay, that's mm -hmm. what this is. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, throwing a pot. You throw it. All right. That's the first process. The second process is we're going to get it centered. I'm going to cone it up. See how I'm coning it up? Can you see that? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to see if there's any air holes in it. What happens if there are air holes? What does that do to the... I would never put it in a kiln. It'll explode. Oh, wow. Air will expand. It'd be cute. <laughs> It'd be fun listening to the bang. Okay, do you see how it's centered now? Mm -hmm. I tell my apprentices to close their eyes and just feel it, because you can feel it's perfectly centered on the wheel. Okay, now we're going to do a little indentation down here. I'm going to do what's called opening. And because this is under three pounds, I'm going to use my thumb instead of the heel of my hand. I'm going to open the project. starting to take shape. I'm going to put my indentation down here. I'm going to raise the walls. That's your next step. And it's got a hole in it. 